Hi guys, um, I'm back. I'm sorry I haven't made a little video for a little while, but I'm back now. Um, and today is an unboxing video. Um, um, there should have been an unboxing video before now for my snackly box, but unfortunately I got a midnight attack of the munchies and I eat it. So today I've got a beauty unboxing for you, and it is of this. It is cohorted. Now earlier this year, I think it was about February, March time, it may have been later, um, Cohort had started um, a monthly beauty box. But unlike the rest of them, it wasn't a subscription, it was, what happened was the boxes launched on one day and it was a free for all basically. Uh, first come first served um, and it was normally a nightmare. Um, the website crashed. Um, yeah, people got frustrated, people got annoyed, people vowed never to buy from them again. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've tried and tried and tried, and this is the first month, aka October, which I got, or obviously I ordered last month, that I managed to get a hold of one. And it would be the last month of the boxes like this because they're actually changing into a subscription format. Um, I think they're going to do various one-off boxes, skincare for example, hair care, fragrance and things. And they're going to be doing a monthly box and I think it's going to be about £29, which isn't cheap. Um, but the quality is excellent and, and they're promising full sizes and things, so who knows. Um, I'm not going to subscribe to that at the moment, um, I think it's a little bit expensive. Maybe if I cancelled a couple of the others I might give it a go, but we'll see. So this one was the last of the free-for-all boxes, I'm going to call them. And what I think they're about £19, so they're obviously they're more expensive than some of the other boxes out there. But um, they promise full sizes. I haven't opened it, I haven't looked at spoilers. Um, so here we go, let's see what's inside. First of all the box itself, it's a nice large square box, ribbon tied, so I think it must be one of the magnetic type. So I'm doing the ribbon and lift it up. Right, cohorted, beauty powered by you. Oh and it tells you what's in it, so let's have a look and see what's in it. Oh, now <laughs> this one seems very one brand orientated. Three of the products in the box are from one brand and thankfully it's a brand that I like. It's Bare Minerals. Um, I'm a bit of a Bare Minerals fan. I like their mineral makeup. I've liked their other stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see what this is. First thing is the Bare Minerals Purifying Facial Cleanser with Rare Minerals Active Soil Complex. And that is 60 mils that. So I don't know if that'll be a full size or not, probably not. Um, but 60ml, that's a pretty decent size for a cleanser, that should go a long way. Uh, transform your daily routine with this gentle purifying cleanser powered by 100% pure rare minerals active soil complex. The formula removes makeup, dissolves impurities and rebalances skin for a soft smooth complexion. So yeah. I've got no sense of smell at the moment actually, so that's not really much point, but yay, cleanser tube of cleanser tube of cleanser and you also get this which is the bare minerals purely nourishing cream with rare mineral active soil complex for dry skin I don't have dry skin so but we're going into winter and my skin can sometimes go a bit flaky in patches so we'll see this luxuriously rich cream delivers soft and smooth skin with improved firmness elasticity radiance and texture I'm not sure how well this is focusing, it's very bright in here. Let's have a look. Is it open? Yes it is. As I say, can't really smell anything, so a bit pointless. I'll show you the pot might be easier. Seems quite thick. Oh yeah, it is quite thick. Leaves a nice sheen on the skin anyway, I don't know if you can say that. But a mm, little bit thick, so I'm not really sure about that. But you never know, for dry patches, etc. If not, my mum will get it. Um, what else? Bare Minerals Marvellous Moxie Lip Gloss. Ooh, lip gloss. I've got a few of the smaller Moxies, but I've never tried this one. And the colour is Hypnotist. Ah, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Can't get it open. Sorry, show you the packaging first. 
for destroy it. Oh wow, yes. Oh my word, oh my word. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen this on QVC before and yeah, this is amazing. Um, yeah. It's looking yellow. It's not yellow. Um, you're really not seeing this how beautiful this is. It's sort of iridescent. So the iridescent pearl. Um, wow. I think this... I just, this camera is not doing this justice. Um, I think this is very much a top coat one, but um, it looks very yellow there and it's, it's not, it's not. It's shot through sort of iridescent peaches, creams, greens. Yeah, you're really not seeing that. But I think as a top coat, I think that would be absolutely stunning. Wow, hypnotist. And that is worth $16.99. Um, the other ones, they've given you the, f the sizes that I was given. The cream was a 30, is that right? Yeah. So the moisturising cream was worth £10. And the cleanser for the 60ml was worth £15. So that's £25. And then you've got $16.99 for one of these. Um, as I say, I don't think this is ever going to do this justice. It just looks yellow on my hand and it's clearly not yellow because yeah it's not. Um, what does it say? Where this iridescent top coat alone are laid over lipstick for a colour shifting effect and knockout shine. When applied the colour shifts from pale purple to coral peach with gold pearl. Yeah I can see it on my hand but it's just not coming across. Sorry about that but that's really interesting. I'm really looking forward to having a play with that. What next? Oh, CRT. Right, these are quite common in beauty boxes, but you don't always get the full size. And this looks like a nice sort of um, rose-toned glitter, um, pink glitter, and that is serendipity. Okay, I'll give it a wiggle so you can see the glitter a bit better. So that's a full size. Um, I've got a love-hate relationship with CRT. Some, some of them I try to good, some of them aren't. Um, but yeah, and that's recommended retail as £9. So fairly happy with that. And the final item is... Ooh! Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For The Mascara. Ah, now, this brand isn't that easy to get a hold of in the UK. I know you can get it a lot in the States, but we can't get it that easily. Innovative comb technology features two specialised dawns that help lengthen and vol volumise. Full size, recommended retail price £15. Um, I'm a bit of a mascara junkie. I happen to have just finished one today. So, um, yeah, mascara. Um, as I say, this brand isn't that easily available in the UK, I don't think. But, um, yeah, never heard about it before, but I'll gladly try that mascara. So yeah, they say the total value of this box was $65.99, which is obviously way more than I paid. The only blip I would suggest might be for me might be the moisturiser, because as I say, it looks quite thick. So I don't really think my oily skin will respond to that too well. But um, hey, it's worth £10. Um, and I'm sure if I don't like it, I'm sure my mum will. But I'm interested to try the cleanser. As I say, I've never, I've never tried any bare mineral skincare before. And I am a fan of the black brand. And this Marvellous Moxie is absolutely... I've seen this on QVC before and I debated and debated and debated. And I didn't. Um, but I'm really interested to try this um, properly over something and see what it can do. I'm just disappointed it isn't really coming across on camera how nice it is. Um, and the Ciate, yeah, nail polish. I love nail polish. I'm a nail polish junkie, as you probably well know by now. Um, so I love my nail polish. So I'm vaguely happy with that. As I say... Um, I have to be honest though, I do think there have been better boxes that I've seen. Um, for example, last month's I think had a, the full size of the Balm Nuditude palette, which I would have loved, but unfortunately that wasn't to be. Um, but um, yeah, it was alright, it was well worth the money. Um, I've got, a, as I say, a couple of things that I'm interested to try, one blip. So yeah, well, probably worth the money for me. Um, as I say, I don't know whether I'll ever go for the, for the monthly subscription box. Um, I think £29 a bit steep for something if you don't know, really know what's in it. Um, I think they are given hints. I think the first one, I think there's, the, I think there's some bare minerals in that and I think there's a full size Sigma brush. I do like Sigma brushes, but as I say, I'm not 
going to step into that at the moment. I'm going to wait and see what my other boxes are this month. Um, there's a couple being dispatched and I know some people have got their birches I think already and I haven't but I will show you when I do. Um, as I say birch box on is in a bit of a sticky wicket because I haven't been impressed with the last couple of boxes but we'll see. Um, as I say it's the look of the draw when you go for beauty boxes if you're prepared to take that risk. Fair enough. So that was the cohorted October box. So thanks for watching. Um, please stay tuned for more hauls and some more unboxings coming soon. Um, I'm in a bit of a video filming marathon, so yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes in a few videos. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my blog, and I'll see you soon. Bye.